Mayor. How are you? Right. I'm Ricky Stokes. Yeah, well, what you got against Will? I ain't got nothing against Will. putting all that stuff on, on your side. That's what we're here for, to find out what the truth is and what's going on here in Will. Nothing's going on. There's something going on. Police resign. There's nothing. Nothing going on about that. What uh, about the chief on his resignation? Start with he was suspended. And then Why? And weeks after he was suspended, he resigned. Why was he suspended? He was suspended because I decided he needed to be suspended. How about that? Okay. I'm not. I, I can't get into detail about that, Mr. Stokes. All right. But was he suspended because there was an investigation? No, because there was controversy in the department. Controversy in the department. Okay. Was there an investigation? Oh, uh, there was an investigation made by Houston County Sheriff's Office. Did they initiate it, or did y'all initiate? Uh. I'm not sure about that right now. Uh, would we be real sure? I mean, did y'all ask them to investigate him, or did they investigate? Let me put it like this. When I found out that the investigation was going on, it was already happening, okay? So, uh, let me get it. So, I, let for, me, let okay. me explain to you now. When he told me what he was doing, and he told me the reason he was doing it, I gave him the okay to proceed. And uh, from that point, you know, things kind of got... Uh, a lot of controversy came up in the department, and so when that happened, I had no choice but to put him on suspension with pay for, for a while, and then in the meantime, he resigned. All right. Well, I, so I'm real clear. You're saying you did not contact the Houston County Sheriff's Office to conduct an investigation on Chief Bain? No, I did. You did not. Did Kim Brown contact? You? Yes. She did. Yes. Okay, with your knowledge and consent? Yes. Okay, so in, in reality, you did contact them through Kim, correct? So right. what you just said was not accurate, right? right? Well, let me back up then. Let me, okay. Let me see if I can get you to understand what I'm trying to say. All right, because what I, you said is not really what happened. You didn't call them, but you had Kim call. No, I didn't have her call them. Listen to me. Okay. Let me try to explain that to you. I came in one day, and, and Ms. Kim said that there was a problem, and she said it needed to be investigated. I said, well, what's that going to cost? She said, nothing. I said, well, okay. And the next thing I knew, one of the uh, Houston County police officers, or, or deputies, was doing the investigation. Well, when he told me, like I said, when he told me why he was investigating, I gave him the okay to proceed. All right, All so, so I've got it straight. He told you, did Kim tell you what the problem was before you called? Before she called the sheriff's office? Let me think about that. Just a minute now. She said there was a problem, okay? Okay. And it needed to be investigated. Right. That's plain of everything. Well, uh, did she tell you what the problem was? Yeah. Okay. Which was gas receipts, correct? Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Uh -huh. Okay. It, it, was, it was more involved than that, and uh, I can't get into detail on that. I don't want to wind up in, a, you know, in trouble for saying something I shouldn't say. All right. Now, did the sheriff's investigator ask for additional records that were never provided for them? I don't know. Didn't ask me. Didn't ask you? Did the sheriff investigator meet with you and tell you the results of his investigation? He said that he had gone as far as he could go. I said, well, just drop it and I'll take it from here. Okay. Now, when you, where did you meet with the sheriff's investigator at the first right. time? Right here at right. Town Hall. Uh, was any statement made by you that you didn't want him prosecuted, but Kim said that uh, she wanted him prosecuted? Uh, whenever he whenever he said the investigation could lead to prosecution, you know, I, I said I, I, I kind of, you know, kind of don't want to do that. And he said, well, we have to. See, that's just the way it is. So I said, well, you know, if it turns out that that's the problem, well, that's just what we have to do. All right. Was uh, Van suspended before the investigation was completed or after? Oh, no, no. After the investigator told me that, he, that he'd gone as far as he could go and I could handle it, well, uh, then I just uh, Mr. Mr. Uh, the, the deputy, I mean, the uh, investigator then, a week or two later, called uh, Mr. Van in for a uh, interview. Mm -hmm. Well, I, you know, I didn't know anything about that, but it was over with. And then Mr. 
Dan came to me and said he needed to talk to me. So I met with him, and he was, you know, hot under the collar about it. And he asked me had I talked to uh, anybody at the sheriff's office. And I, I told him I had talked to Mr. Spivey, and he, and he said, did you initiate the investigation? I said, not really. Uh, at that time, I didn't see it that way. Anyway, he was pretty hot about it, and from that point, it just, you know, he, he got a little, you know, been out of shape. And I don't, I don't really blame him, but... Uh, and then y'all had a council meeting, and then he handed things out in an executive session at the council meeting, explaining to all the council members what was going on, that you hadn't told them what was going on? I can't tell you what went on in the, in the executive session. Okay, well, let me ask you this. Did, did you notify the council of everything was going on, and have you notified them? I don't understand that question. Have you notified your council members of what all has transpired and taken place? Some of them. Some of them haven't been able to get a hold of yet. Well, Y'all met the other night, so you didn't go in an executive session and tell them? No, sir. We didn't have any executive session. So you did have them all here the other night? Yeah. So you could have the other night, but you didn't? No, I did not. Okay. Now, your other police officer resigned, didn't she? Well, yeah, but then things change from day to day. Things don't always stay the same. Uh, I, I have already told her that I would put her on suspension without paying definitely, and I wasn't making any guarantees, but that we would meet again at a later time when things settled down. So now, instead of saying she did resign verbally, but she wanted to back off of that, and she said she'd rather be suspended without pay. And I told her that was fine with me. Okay. Right now. Did y'all talk tonight? Y'all were not supposed. Y'all were supposed to have a meeting Monday night. Then I was told it was canceled. But then y'all did have a meeting, That's and you a pre meeting, which no decisions were made. Of. Okay, and you didn't tell. No discussion was made with her that night, but came back the next day. She was at the meeting. Miss Powell was at the meeting, and she asked to meet with me the next day. And y'all met. Yes. And she is. Back employed but suspended. No, she's not employed because she is suspended without pay. Now, why is she suspended? Because I had already talked with her about an incident, and she said that she would just resign. And then she changed her mind and didn't want to resign. Okay. Now, I, I, I'm kind of, and and I'm I'm trying to search for what the truth is. Okay. That's why I'm asking. Whatever. And, you need to know. And I, I kind of, you didn't contact Sheriff's Office, but then you knew Miss Brown was contacting well, the Sheriff's Office. Well, I'm for that because I was told it, it, it needed to be investigated, and I said, go ahead. Now, now, the records that the Sheriff's Office asked for that was not in there, not about Mr. Van, but other records, why, where are those records and why were they not supplied? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about there. I don't read that. So what, what they didn't ask about? for any additional records, not about Van, but additional records on some discrepancies that was never provided and said that the town didn't have those records. So if I go ask the Sheriff's Department and investigator, did you ask for additional records? And they said yes, and the town couldn't supply them and said they didn't have them. Uh, he didn't ask me for any records. If he had it, I couldn't. I wouldn't know where they were at anyway. But okay. he didn't say anything to me about wanting additional records, and he couldn't. If we didn't have them, well, naturally we couldn't give them to him. But I, you know, you ask me questions that I don't really. Well, what started? You know, it, it appears there was no controversy until all of a sudden there was an investigation, and, and so. And I want to get this clear because the Dothan Eagle article didn't have it clear. The investigation didn't reveal any wrongdoing on the part of Chief Van. Is that correct? The investigation? By the Sheriff's the Department. The investigation was dropped. No, was it completed? Was it completed as to Chief Van? Because I'm going to go ask the Sheriff's Office. You can ask anything you want to. I uh, instructed the investigator to drop it, but I would take it from that point. Okay, I don't know that you've got the authority to stop a Sheriff's Department investigation. Well, My question is... He had done all he could do. So that he didn't find any wrongdoing, is that correct? Well, he must not have since, he dropped, since I told him to drop it. But why did he call him for an interview? Uh, you usually do. That's I part of an investigation. I told him to drop it. Uh, but y'all initiated it and you told him to drop it when he didn't find anything? Is well, that when he told me he'd done all he could do. But did he tell you he'd done all he could do and he didn't find anything? No, he just said he'd gone as far as he could go. That's what he said. Okay. You know, so he didn't say, well, did I, he say whether Chief Van had, he had found anything that Chief Van had done wrong? 
I, I, no, he didn't say that. Uh, I, I just assumed that, you know, he'd run, he'd run out of uh, the material he might need to further the investigation. That's what I assumed. And I mean, I just told him to drop it. Here. Okay. No, don't put this on television. Uh, we're live. We're already live. live. Yes, sir. We're live. Are we through? No, sir. Well, you better hurry up because i got to go. Okay, because I want to know... Whether Chief Van had done anything wrong, and did the controversy start because you and Kim Brown started an investigation which was a witch hunt? Now, that's one question for time, okay? Okay. Did You didn't have any controversy with Chief Van until after you and Kim Brown called the sheriff's office, correct? That's controversy, that's right. No controversy. Not, no controversy at all. That's right. Controversy came after Chief Van was called in by the sheriff's department and questioned. And the sheriff's office told you they'd gone as far as they could go, which meant they didn't find anything. Okay. Correct? Am I correct so far? That. Okay. You, you and then, and then, well, I'm asking you to agree or disagree. If I'm not telling the truth, disagree. And then you said, well, just drop it. And you're saying you don't have any knowledge whether they asked for additional records that could not be provided. No, I said you didn't ask me for any additional records. Didn't ask. Do you, are you aware they asked Kim Brown for any additional records? If, if they asked Kim Brown for additional records, Ms. Kim Brown would have gladly provided those. Okay. And if they weren't available, she could provide them. Okay. Then the controversy started after Chief Van found out there was an investigation. And that three times. Okay. And that resulted in a council meeting, not asking y'all what y'all did in executive session, but where y'all went into executive session with Chief Van. Is that correct? Well, actually, now, I don't know if I can explain this or not, but we was in the process of having a regular council meeting, and at the end of the council meeting, Mr. Van requested we go into executive session, which, he, you know, he didn't have the authority to do that. Uh, but anyway... Uh, it was it was uh, a motion was made and seconded, so we went into the executive session that that night. It, uh, it, I mean, it was a surprise to everybody that we were going to go into executive session because it wasn't the thing mentioned until the meeting was over. So we went into executive session for just a few minutes and come back out. And then the next day is when you suspended Chief Van. Mm -hmm. right. Okay. Yeah. So really, at all you know, that. What I do. And I I usually do. And usually in the essence of all this is y'all just really wanted to get rid of him and was on a witch hunt. No. You got that wrong. I got that wrong. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how, were you on the council before you became yes, mayor? I was. And there was controversy for four years with the former mayor. Yeah, well, every time into that. We ain't talking about I know. That. But every time we turn around, it's controversy. Now we've got controversy again within the police department. Well, you have no police officers. When you're dealing with individuals, you, you, if you got two individuals, you got two personalities. Right. Those two personalities may conflict at any time for any reason. I don't have, I can't, I can't dictate to a person what they can or can't say 24 hours a day, and things are going to happen. And when they do, you know, it's my job to make sure this, you know, settle down or something's done to correct the problem. And I'm doing the best I can do. Right. So I got to go now. Okay. Well, I'm on. Finish this up. You're saying you didn't have any knowledge of the sheriff's office being contacted, but Miss Brown contacted no, them, that. okay? Or you're saying you knew she contacted them, you just didn't contact them. That's right. Okay, so you knew she was contacting yeah, the investigation. Contact them. That's right. All right. I'm gonna go in and ask her if they ask for additional records. Well, we have a meeting right now. Okay. Well, I won't leave it just a second. I don't think she's going to interview you. Uh, that's, that's fine. I, she, she ain't too happy about what you said about her, and I ain't either, and I don't appreciate it. Which kind of would have done nothing to you or anybody else. No, but I don't like to see y'all on a witch hunt and mistreating people, and y'all were on a I'm witch hunt. Uh, Chief Vans, number one, who you mistreated. How do you think we mistreated somebody? Because you called in on an investigation. There was an uh, investigation conducted. There was no criminal wrongdoing found. And he went ask an executive session to notify the council, which you had not notified the council what was going on. When he notified them what was going on, the next morning you suspended him. Is that no, basically? No, you got that all twisted. Okay, explain it I to me. I have got time to keep talking to you. Now I've got to go. Okay. If you ain't got enough information by now, you're not going to ever get enough Well, I'm just trying to get the straight me. story with you. Well, if, is that the way the chain of events happened? Not the way you said it, no. no. Okay. No. Uh, 
Ed Carr, I told you, and I'm going to say it for one more time, and I'm going. Okay, good. We had a regular council meeting. Right. The council met, meeting went smooth, went all the way through, and that council meeting was just before it was adjourned. Mr. Van requested that we go into executive session. And I thought for a second, of course, he told me off guard and wasn't expecting and I said, hmm, well, to do that, we're going to have to have a motion. Well, the next thing you knew, we had a motion, then we had a second, so we went into executive session. What was I going to explain to anybody before that? I didn't want to expect it. Couldn't explain to nobody what was going on because there wasn't nothing going on. As far as I was concerned, it was settled. All right, so we went into executive session to come out. Okay, then after the executive session, and what happened in the executive session, I made my decision. That's all I'm going to say, okay? And then the next morning you suspended I Chief Ann. I just said. Okay. You're not hard to hear, are you? No, sir. I just want to make sure we got the story accurate and correct. Well, that's as accurate as I can tell it. You know, okay. I, I'm doing the best I can, and if anybody wants to, you know, uh, talk to me about it, I'd be glad to. So that's why I'm here. I I'm appreciate you talking to me. I'm talking to anybody. Well, I didn't want an appointment because I wanted to make sure we got it the way it well, was. You better get it right now. You don't keep going there. Okay. Say what you said on it's your lying. site. Tell me what I said on my site that was wrong. You said a lot of things on there. You shouldn't have said. Tell me. Tell me Webb is not here for you to pick on and to downgrade. Tell me what I said was wrong. About Webb has just singled itself out to create drama. That's bull. You know that. You made that up. You put that on your... Did y'all create drama? No, you did. That's what you're trying to do. No. That's what you're doing now. Yes, it is. Do you know I'm doing my article after the Dothan Eagle article today? You see the Dothan Eagle? Hey. And it's after the article today in the Dothan Eagle? Well, listen, I don't... And you are the one that... Uh, you and Kim Brown are the two that started an investigation that... Is unfounded of criminal activity. Well, I said, and you would be mad. You're mad with me. I ain't mad at nobody. Okay, you don't like the fact that I brought out an article about drama in Webb. What right. did you, you do to Chief? A no, I did yeah, not yeah, make it up. Did. Which part did I make it up? The whole thing. Nobody, nobody is concerned about except you, and you just want to stir up. Oh, I, I, the Chief Vans without a job because y'all did a witch hunt. Well. You call it a witch, huh? You call it whatever you want to. You can twist up what I said anyway. No. You're yeah, saying it. You're live on camera. You well, say listen, what I, you want. I, I got to go. I done said that three okay. times. Now I got to go, okay? All right. All right. Well, we're fixing to go inside, right, too. You better hold up before you go inside. I don't think you can get one of you this can. Well, we're going to ask, and we're live, so she can say that we're not going to. Hello. She will not have an interview. Okay. Thank you.